Now he's starting on from threes. Same rule. He's got to stay there until he makes two in the row. Once he makes two in the row, he can move to the next spot. Now he's tired from just doing the twos. So, but that's what this drill does. It challenges you. You start from inside, three, then work yourself out from the three. So he got his first one. All right, still at the same spot. Dropping them, you're dropping that ball too low. Catch and shoot with it a little bit higher above your belly button. Extend those arms. There you go. Take your time. Don't rush. You're not going nowhere. Plant your feet. There you go. Get the hand up. Hand in the cookie jar. That's better. Patience. Have some patience. There you go. This is a really challenging drill, but I think it's one for especially your, especially your shooters. Go to do this in both the two and the uh, three total. We like to see this done within 15 minutes. So you made this one. He's got to move to the next one after he makes this one. All right, two in a row. So now he's moving. Go back to the corner now. So as you can see, it's a challenging drill, but it's a good drill to work on. Improve the shooting. The spots on the floor where we shoot from in our offense. And it challenges our players. They just don't think they can shoot one and move on. We want them to get fatigue and shoot from when they're tired. So this is another thing that it does for us. All right, made two in a row. Let's see how far he can go. All right, he's on the move. Christian is a sophomore. He was our team leading scorer this year. Had the highest average three point percentage wise as well. All conference first team and dream team. Now he's back at the corner. You can see he's getting tired and fatigued and his legs are kind of wearing on him. Go back to your mechanics. Plank your feet, get the ball above your, uh, your waistline. Give him about 20 more seconds to see if he can go around the world. But he missed that, so he got to go back. <laughs> 